Hey everyone, Asa here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to implement feature flags in a static site using Optimizely. Let's get started by navigating to link.optimizely.com slash static site feature flags. And the first step is to create an Optimizely account. I'll let you do that on your own. The second step, let's open up a blank code pen in a new tab. And in this video, we'll be operating in the HTML section of this code pen to simulate a static site. But first we need a static site, so let's copy this HTML and paste it in as the start of our HTML static site. The cool thing about CodePen is we can visualize this on the right. The next step is to install Optimizely SDK. We can do that with an HTML script tag. So I'll copy this line and paste it in the head of the site. And what this does is put the SDK available in a JavaScript variable under window.optimizely SDK, which we'll use later. The next step is to install the data file for our project, and we'll also use an HTML script tag for that. So we'll copy and paste this line. The data file contains all the information about our feature flags, but we have to connect it by dropping in our SDK key here. So we'll find our SDK key by navigating to optimizely.com, navigating to settings, and under environments, finding our SDK key for the development environment, and we'll paste it in right there. The next step is to use this SDK and data file. So we will copy this code and put it underneath the body of our HTML so that this code will run after the above HTML has already been rendered. And what this code does is use the optimizing SDK to create an instance using the data file we specified above. The next step in our instructions is to create a feature flag and we'll call one hello world in the Optimizely UI. So opening the Optimizely UI, navigating to features, create new feature, give it the key hello world, scroll down and save. Now that our feature is created, we will implement our hello world feature, copy and paste this JavaScript. And what this code does is use the Optimizely client instance we created and calls the function isFeatureEnabled, which will tell us whether the feature is on or off. We give it the hello world key that we named our feature and pass along a user ID. This will help Optimizely determine whether a user should get the feature on or off. Right now though, our user ID is hard coded to user123. In order to get the real power of feature flags and be able to roll things out across users, we need a user ID that's new for every user visiting the site. So going to the next step, we will generate a new user ID for every person visiting our static site using this function. We'll place it right here. What this function does is check if in local storage there is already a optimized user ID, and if there isn't one, generate a new random one and store it in local storage so that the same user revisiting the site will get the same ID. So now we just have to connect this generated user ID to our function by deleting our hard-coded value. And now everything is hooked up. So at this point, all the code is done, but what you'll notice is the feature flag is off. And so that's because we haven't enabled the feature flag yet. So let's go to optimize these UI go to hello world feature, scroll down to the toggle, enable it for 100% of our traffic and save that change. And at this point we wanna reload our application with CodePen, I find it easiest to just edit the HTML and it'll cause a reload. So I'll just you know, click spacebar and see if it'll reload the page. And there we go, the feature flag is on. So hopefully in this video you've seen how to install Optimizely in a static site from scratch. Hope you learned something. Again, I'm Asa. Thanks so much.